Greetings. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how you can mix the jQuery frontend and Zen framework backend. Uh, to do that, I will rewrite these pagination controls, which are now static. So every click to the page reloads everything. And I'm going to change that into an Ajax form so that uh, when I change the navigation, only this content space will be changed. Uh, the rest of the page will stay as is. So to do that, I am going to replace these links with placeholders. And I am going to adjust that in the pagination page. So essentially, um, what I need is to be able to put placeholders in place um, so that the jQuery frontend is able to do its work on the links. Uh, the reason why it has to be only a placeholder without any real data is because it's the frontend that will do all the calculations on what page is to be viewed next or previous uh, because it's going to be a JSON request that means that the uh, Zend view will never hit the view scripts and uh, this page, the pagination of PHTML, will never be accessed again. Uh, the only time it will be accessed is during my first visit of the list. Uh, any consecutive clicks um, will not be able to reach the pagination PHTML. So I'll, I will have to put in all the necessary placeholders in the right positions uh, at this point. So the beginning and the end links are simple enough because no matter where you are in a pagination, the beginning is always the beginning and end is always the end. So I can safely assume that the address for the beginning and the end will always be the same. So I'm uh, calling this link beginning. I am setting the URL to the current page it is at and I am including the page parameter to be first. So this is where I'm hard coding the page number for the beginning because I know it will always stay the same. Uh, you can later use the jQuery controls to modify how it looks. For example, if you are already on the first page, you can use this ID I'm typing now to hide it or show it. So in, um, before that we had an if statement uh, checking whether the page is first or not and then if it is first then don't include the beginning link. Uh, that is something that you will have to do in a jQuery. Uh, I'm not going to go into that because that's um, more of a jQuery tutorial than that framework. I'm going to show you only what's directly relevant between the interactions. So like before I am calling the JavaScript function that puts the data into the appropriate sections of the page and uh, the method for setting all the data is of course post and then we've got to tell the framework that we are accessing a JSON request okay so no nothing new so I will do the same with the end link. It's end. The ID is end. And that's that. Okay, so that alone should be enough for the beginning and the end links. So if I go to beginning, I'm in the beginning, I go to end. I am not at the end because I forgot to change 
the page okay so now how the beginning and the end links working notice how just this area changes the rest of the page stays the same uh, now the tricky bit are the next and the previous buttons as I said before there is no way that the front end will ever hit the pagination HTML page because in JSON requests all the view scripts are ignored so the best I can do is to create a placeholder with empty data that I will later fill with the JavaScript's front-end functions. This one is going to be for next. And this one is going to be for previous. There's our previous function, doesn't do anything, and the next. Uh, the numbers uh, in the range are relatively simple. Uh, once again, I am going to just create a placeholder. I'm not going to use Ajax link. And the reason I don't want to use Ajax link in this case is because uh, it's going to create a whole new set of jQuery functions up here. So for every little page number that we have, it's going to create this massive line. And I believe that's a waste of resources. So what I'm going to do is to create a placeholder for each of the page numbers and then assign a single function that will transfer each of those links mm, into live links into live Ajax links so this is not exactly necessary but it is something to save the resources uh, so I don't want that I just want that and the ID and I'm calling the page so that the jQuery can query for all the links with the ID page and assign the page appropriately and of course I don't want that now okay so with that my transformation should be complete and I now have the links ready for the jQuery's manipulations. I am going to put all the jQuery and JavaScript functions in the front-end JavaScript file created earlier. Uh, but before I go on editing it, I would like to make a little change to the place in the HTML code where this file is included. Uh, at this point, the frontend.js is included in every single page that calls for jQuery. That's because I have the frontend.js included at all times in the layout head. Instead, I want to include this file only when needed and in my case I want this frontend JS file to be included only in the books list only in a books list uh, template file 